Do you struggle building decks in Hearthstone? Do you make poor trades, miss lethal, generally misplay without even realizing you're doing so? Do you struggle with the idea of tempo? Or are you just bad at the game? Then look no further than Neon31's competitive Hearthstone website, hearthstone-dex.net. It has all the standard and wild decks you need to climb up the Hearthstone ladders, weekly reports, guides, articles, and much, much more. And even you, the everyday casual player, can hit legend, even rank 1 legend, using Neon31's website, hearthstone-dex.net. Greetings everyone, Sizzle466 here, and in today's video, we're going to be looking at some of the best post-card buff wild decks to climb with. First up, we have Duan's Mech Hunter. This is an OTK deck that utilizes Snip Snap, Mech Warper, and Corpse Widow. How the combo works is you ensure that you have a mech stick on the board, and the following turn, with your mech that can attack, you play Mech Warper, Corpse Widow, and Snip Snap for zero mana. Because it has Echo, you can play infinitely many Snip Snaps until you rope out for the end of your turn. Very powerful deck, something to try out. Now Quest Mage didn't get any of its specific cards buffed, but it did get a slight buff through Primordial Glyph. If you can discover Luna's Pocket Galaxy through Primordial Glyph, all your minions cost one. Having Flame Wakers, Stargazer Lunas, Archimage Vargoth for one is absolutely insane. And so one, this deck is already very powerful in the meta, so it got a bit of a buff. A mage deck that actually directly takes advantage of the Lunas Pocket Galaxy buff is Trips's Malagos Mage. So now we can get our Alexstrasza, Malagos, Emperor Thorazin at one mana two turns earlier making this a much more powerful deck than it previously was, and maybe a deck that's going to break into the meta, which is currently on the fringe of making its way in. A deck that has potential um, because of the mana reductions to Christology and Glowstone Technician is Hand Buff Paladin. With the addition of Snip Snap, Reno Jackson has created a very powerful mech hand buff archetype which he's achieved high legend with, and is definitely a deck that you want to try out and see how it performs for you in the wild meta. Next up, we have F2K Control's Dragon Combo Priest. Extra Arms, this has its mana reduced to two, and so now with the redundancy of having Valence chosen and Extra Arms, you've got even, even more potential to blast your opponent out of nowhere through an OTK, combined with Radiant Elemental and all the crazy synergies that you see in Dragon Combo Priest. Odd Rogue has also seen some, um, imp some improved performance thanks to Snip Snap. So although Odd Rogue doesn't run any mechs, Snip Snap turns out to just be a very solid 3 mana card. Having a 3 mana 2-3 that has Magnetic, has Echo, can get you free Microbots when it dies, it's just a really powerful card to have in the deck. Even Shaman was an archetype that people were either praising or fearing it was going to see an increase in power level, and yes it did. If the inclusion of Thunderhead improves even Shaman's aggressive matchups, and the addition of the Stormbringer improves even Shaman's control matchups. This specific list is even teched harder against control decks, having Mojo Master Zihi included to completely throw your opponent off guard. You'll also notice that we have Fire Guard Destroyer replacing Jonai Totem Carver just to get some extra synergy off the Thunderhead. And last of all, we have All Dragons OTK Warlock. Now this is a deck that you want to keep an eye on and is becoming very popular. Similar to the OTK Hunter, how this deck functions is you hope that you get a mech stick on the board, and then you play 
your summoning portal, your mech warper, and then you've got infinitely many snip snaps to OTK your opponent out of, no, out of nowhere. If things don't go your way, you've also got the demon package as a backup. So this is definitely a deck that has a lot of potential. It might be really bad, it might be really good, but it's something that we definitely want to keep an eye on in Wild. I'd like to thank everyone so much for watching this video and spending your time in this channel today. All of the deck codes for the decks are available in the description below, in addition to a wide range of other decks that are performing very well in the current card buff post meta. Decks such as Jay Druid, Big Priest, Pirate Warrior, it's all there for you, check it out. If you want to support the channel, hit that subscribe button, click the notification bell, and until next time, I hope to see you again.